Okay, we're asked to find the limit as x approaches, whoops, x approaches 3. Let's rewrite that. Of the function 8x squared over 1 plus the square root of x. Now, the deal with this is this is neither a polynomial nor a rational function because of that square root right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, at the following. Um, first, if we plug 3 into this function, so the function evaluated at 3 is 8 times 3 squared over 1 plus the square root of 3. And so this becomes 8 times 9 over 1 plus the square root of 3, which is 72 over 1 plus the square root of 3. Now, you can rationalize this if you want. I'm not worried about rationalizing the denominator. We're just going to leave it like that. That's fine. Okay. Here's the, here's the question, though. Is this function continuous at 3? So if it's continuous at 3, then this holds. And this is actually the limit. Okay. We don't know that this is continuous at 3. Well, where is it not continuous? Well, what are the issues here? The only issue in the domain for this particular function is when we go ahead and we plug in a value that is less than 0, or a negative value. So the domain for this is all numbers from 0 up to infinity. This square root of x function is continuous on that interval. So 1 plus that function, all that does is it shifts. Let, let me draw the graph out for you here. Look. Here's the square root of x. That's the function. Clearly continuous. This is the square root of x plus 1, or 1 plus the square root of x. Order doesn't matter because addition is commutative. So that, since we're only lifting it up by one unit, that is clearly continuous. So we got a continuous function on the bottom. Well, the top is continuous as well. And we're taking a continuous function divided by another continuous function. So that, therefore, is continuous. So this function is continuous. And therefore, we can do direct substitution when trying to evaluate the limit.